You can hide no longer. You now have the world looking directly at you. Hot roll, red roll. Engaged. All right, everybody. Welcome back to the channel. This is Mr. Fresh. Let's go ahead and get started with the episode. So in today's episode, I'm going to be doing some interesting things with my Alpha external Wi-Fi adapter. And what I want to show you guys in this video is how you can actually scan some additional channels using uh, the Alpha Wi-Fi adapter or an equivalent that you may have uh, that you are also able to put into monitor mode. Um, and we're specifically going to be scanning some channels that you may or may not have known that um, existed. And this all kind of started from me just kind of, you know, doing what I do um, on a typical evening with a nice big cup of coffee and that is just running commands and just trying different things. And there is a command that is uh, pretty extensive. It is the IW command. And if I do what is IW, it says that it is used to show and or manipulate wireless devices and their configuration. And if you just do IW, you get back an extensive amount of different things that you can do um, with this utility. And, you know, I was just kind of going through some stuff, just messing around with different things, trying different things out. And then you also have this uh, IW list. And there's a lot of things that you can do just kind of experimenting um, uh, with this command as well. And if I do what is IW list, we get back that it is used to get more details uh, more detailed wireless information from a wireless interface. So what I did is specifically this one right here that says uh, channel. Now, let me go ahead and get the name of my adapter first, and I'm going to do that by running IW uh, config. The name of my alpha adapter is right here. Yours will surely be different. So let me go ahead and copy that. Now, I'm going to do that IW list command again. And according to the syntax specified here in the usage, I'm going to do IW list and then the name of the interface. And then I want to uh, get some information back on the channels. And when I do that, you see all of the different channels. Um, that are available for this adapter. And it says there are 32 channels in total. And then we have our available frequencies all in the 2.4 gigahertz range, as well as um, uh, the five uh, gigahertz range. Now you can see at the bottom, the very last line tells me that uh, my current frequency is 2.4 gigahertz and the channel that is uh, being used by this adapter right now is channel 6 and we can actually change that manually but what I want to show you is and this is something that I missed I didn't really catch this in previous times that I looked at this but if you go back up to the top here we have our channels right and this is for you know 2.4 I'm not referring to to um, 5 gigahertz but if you look at the channels here you have one all the way up to 13. It's interesting because if you know anything about how the wireless industry works in the country that I live in, which you most likely live in as well, according to um, the statistics that I look at on YouTube, uh, the United States, the wireless industry is regulated by the FCC and they have decided that channels 1 through 11 are to be used. So what's going on with these two additional channels I see here? We got channel 12 and channel 13. So it's kind of interesting. So I was just doing a little research online and come to find out that while channels 1 through 11 are used in the United States, there are other nations that use channels 1 through 12 as well as 1 through 14. So obviously, um, while I don't see 14 on here, I see channel 12 and 13. So clearly my adapter is able to utilize these additional channels. So I said, well, 
huh, that's kind of interesting. Well, how can, how can we explore that, right? So let's go ahead and explore that. Um, as you see, uh, the current channel is six. Well, if I wanted to change the channel, I could actually change the channel of my adapter to one of these channels, which if everybody's using channels one through 11 and you're using channels 12 and 13, say on multiple adapters between different devices, you're kind of communicating on a back channel or pseudo secret channel, right? Kind of interesting. So how would I do that? Um, well, let's see here. The easiest way I think to do this would be, I will run iwconfig with pseudo privileges. Once again, I need the name of my interface. And I can just put in a new channel with a channel command or with the channel uh, option and I'll change it to 13. And now if I rerun IW list channel, uh, you see at the bottom here that we are now using channel 13 which is pr pretty cool. Now, um, so I said to myself, well, okay, that's interesting. I wonder if anybody else out there around me is using channel 13 because I can obviously scan for that using my alpha adapter. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, I'm going to go through the typical uh, set of commands that I would want to do for this and um, that would be to first run airmon ng with check and I have multiple services or processes that I need to kill so they don't interfere so I'll run check kill and it killed all of them so I don't need to rerun it and now I will put my interface into monitor mode using airmon ng start and then give it the name of my interface and it is now oh, well it should have been in monitor mode I am getting an error um, and it says unable to start it and it says that I need to run RF kill unblock 2 so it's simple enough I'll just hit n for no enter and then I will run RF kill unblock 2 with pseudo privileges and now let me go ahead and put it into monitor mode and there we go monitor mode is enabled so now that monitor mode is enabled now I want to run arrow dump ng and um, I want to actually scan on channel 13 and I am going to have to give it the name of my interface, Oops, which is not that. Let me go ahead and get the name of my interface real quick. There we go. And let's see if we have anything. Now, when I did this earlier, I did actually find an access point that was using channel 13. However, when I do it this time around, I'm not getting anything. Um, but when I ran this before, I did actually find an access point that was using channel 13, which I thought was incredibly interesting. Um, but I'm not seeing it now. Oh, there we go. There it is. So it is back up. All right. So if you see here at the top, let me just control C that. Um, this very first line, here's the BSS ID or the MAC address of the access point. And you can see that it is using channel 13 and doesn't appear to be any data being transmitted over it. 
and we also are not getting any information back on the encryption cipher, the authentication mechanism, or the name of it. We're not getting the ESSID. So they've obviously purposely hidden this. Now there are ways that we could uncover this, but that's outside of the scope of this video. But I found this to be incredibly interesting that somebody around me is actually running some type of access point on channel 13. So, um, you know, run these commands yourself and see what you come up with. And for all you know, there might be a host of devices that are in your area running around you that are running on these uh, more covert channels. So hope hope that uh, you guys find that interesting like I did. And uh, maybe we'll explore this topic a little bit further in some additional videos. But for now, that's going to be it. Hope you guys got something out of this. Um, actually, you know what? There's more. There's more. I want to do one more thing, and I just thought of this. Let me go ahead and rerun that command. But let's see if we can get just a little bit more information um, on this access point. And that is going to be by doing dash dash manufacturer as well as dash dash uptime. So let me just rerun that and see what we get. And I might have to give it a few seconds to see if channel, if the access point on channel 13 pops back up. Hopefully it does. There it is. Okay. So unfortunately, we're getting unknown for the manufacturer. Though, it appears that there's now two devices that are both using channel 13, but I'm not getting any additional information back on them. And even for the uptime, it's saying zero. So I'm not, I'm not quite getting that, but um, nonetheless, I, I guess it just means it's just something to explore even further. And I know that these MAC addresses, they're not to my device because I, I did double check that they do not belong to any of my devices. So if anybody else out there has any more information that maybe they could give me on what's going on, that would be that would be very, um, very that would be very well received. And with that, I am going to really end the video this time. So thank you guys for watching. I'm Mr. Fresh. If you haven't done so already, subscribe to the channel, like the video, like the videos, show me some support, guys. It takes a certain amount of time and effort to come up with this stuff. I'd appreciate uh, the uh, any support that you guys could give. With that being said, we'll see you in the next video.